so our first exercise question number 5 so 1 plus tan square the whole square plus 1 minus tan a the whole square equal to 2 secant square ok see this question take our LHS ok so what is our LHS 1 plus tan square theta ok so taking the LHS and derive into the RHS so before what are the identities we are going to use in this problem see 1 plus tan square theta equal to secant square theta and what is that next identity first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and 1 plus cos square theta is equal to cosecant square theta so we have three identities so which identity is the perfect one we are going to use this one okay yes so what is our question kids see our question this is of the form a plus b okay the square plus here it is a minus b the whole square so a in the place of a it is 1 in the place of b it is tan theta shall we apply okay see what is our first step 1 so a plus b the whole square is equal to see i am writing here uh, a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and this is a minus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab shall we apply yes so this is 1 square plus tan square a plus 2 1 so we did not write the 1 you just write tan theta and plus so a minus b the whole square so again 1 plus tan square a minus 2 tan a ok so we have both 3 terms here 3 terms ok so this is 3 terms and this is also a 3 terms ok so all are plus so we can cancel here so how will you cancel you can 1 plus uh, 2 tan theta this one and this is minus 2 tan theta so we can cancel this one and this one so what do we get left out so 1 square plus 1 2 and tan square a plus tan square a so 2 plus 2 tan square a ok take our 2 outside so 2 outside just 1 plus tan square a so 2 1 plus tan square is equal to secant square a so this is our RHS so that's all hence it is proved ok do you understand ma yes so this is a simple step 2 plus tan square plus tan square see what do you mean by that x square plus x square is 2x square ok clearly see if we have x square plus x square what do we get that is 2x square ok similarly tan square theta plus tan square theta you can write 2 tan square theta so this is what we have applied tan square theta plus tan square theta ok so when you add the tan square theta we get 2 tan square theta and you have 2 so you can take the 2 what do you mean by taking outside you just divide you can divide the term both the term by 2 so both the term by 2 so we are taking 2 outside ok so do you understand what? after taking 2 outside we get 1 plus tan square theta so 1 plus tan square theta by the identity you can replace secant square theta ok so we get 2 secant square theta so that is our RHS so we get the answer so it is a hence it is proved ok so do you understand ma so very simple sum you are just applying the algebraic identity a plus b the whole square and a minus b the whole square ok so two identities so a plus b the whole square we get three terms and here a minus b the whole square we get three terms so you can cancel this term and this term because one term is positive and another term is negative so what do we left out 1 plus tan square and 1 plus tan square so 1 plus 1 it is 2 tan square plus tan square that is 2 tan square so taking 2 outside as common we get 1 plus tan square so that is 2 secant square theta so that is our RHS. Okay. I hope you all understand the problem. So after seeing the uh, problem, 
video and do it on your own okay thank you